Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. We are continuing on with the Holiday Decorate With Me series for 2022. And we are in the family room today and we're gonna tackle the mantle that's in here. This is going to be a completely different theme or vibe from what you guys saw on the mantle in the living room yesterday. So the mantle that I decorated yesterday is in the quote unquote formal living room of the house. This here is our family room. And um, I really love doing different themes in different rooms. And while I sort of focus on golds and reds and burgundies for the front living room, I really like doing um, whites, creams, uh, a lot of like natural textures and tones in here. This room is actually pretty dark. I have all of the lights on and it still feels super dark to me in here. So I'm hoping that this doesn't, this footage turns out okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like to use some lighter colors in here because I feel like it kind of helps to brighten things up. So one thing that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video that I really want to stress before we get started here is that if you are decorating an elevated surface like a mantle, even if your mantle is very wide, I would highly, highly suggest that you use some command hooks to secure your garland to the surface that you are decorating it on. So for example, on the mantle in here, I have three command hooks that I actually just leave up year round and I wire the garland to the command hooks because the worst thing that you can have happen is like doing all of this beautiful decorating and then potentially having it come crashing down <laughs> during the middle of the season or Christmas morning when you guys are opening presents or something. Always make sure that you are securing your garland. Um, the command hooks have never caused any damage on my wood or painted service surfaces, so I highly recommend those. Another thing I want to mention is um, yesterday I just kind of showed it in the video. I used the sticky putty or museum putty to attach the clear trees that I placed on either side of the mantle. And I used that same putty on this little piece right here, which this little antler situation, I don't even know what I would call this thing, but um, it was sitting up there and it was fine, but I would really hate for that to fall down. So I do use the museum putty quite frequently with my holiday decor to make sure that just in case, you know, if somebody bumps into a table or, you know, like a side table or something like that, that everything just stays secure. Um, again, the museum putty does not leave any damage on any surfaces, so you can feel confident in using it. If you don't know where to get it, I will go ahead and link it down uh, below in the description box on Amazon. And um, it's really pretty genius and it's actually reusable as well. So um, enough for the intro here. I'm going to try to make this video a little bit shorter, so I'm gonna shorten the clips a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't turn into another 25 minute video, but um, we'll see. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get started with this kind of white winter wonderland vibe that I have for Envisioned in here. Um, we'll see how it turns out. This is going to be different from what I did last year in a couple of ways, so let's just see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 